five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition and lift off. We are T plus 40 seconds into flight. That is a gorgeous shot of Falcon 9. Oh, uh, we are in the middle of the NROL 108 mission. Falcon 9 is currently throttling down to prepare for max Q at T plus 1 minute and 12 seconds. Max Q is where the vehicle will experience the highest amount of aerodynamic pressures. Falcon is supersonic. Maximum aerodynamic pressure. We've passed max Q. All is looking good with the stage one trajectory. In about a minute, we'll have five events happening back to back. Uh, first up is main engine cutoff. We also refer to that as Miko. Uh, this is where ni all nine Merlin engines on the first stage will shut off to slow the vehicle down in preparation for the second event, I'm stage separation. Uh, during stage separation, uh, the first and second stage will separate from one another. The third event is second engine start or SES-1. Uh, this is where the single Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage will ignite. The fourth event is boost back burn for the first stage. And the last of these five events is fairing deploy, where we will jettison the nose cone at the top of our second stage. Uh, a reminder, again, we won't be sh broadcasting the fairing deploy at the request of our customer, but we should get audio confirmation of it. We're about 15 seconds away from the first of those five events, main engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. Second stage. Stage one, boost back startup. Current separation confirmed. And we just got the auto confirmation that fairing separation has been confirmed. Uh, on the right-hand side of the screen is a view uh, of the first stage performing its boost back burn. Uh, that is a great shot. In a couple of seconds, we're expecting that boost back burn to be ending on the first stage. Stage one boost back shut down. And there it is. T plus three minutes and 20 seconds into flight. Everything's looking great so far. Uh, with the boost back burn done, done, our first stage will be attempting its land landing in just a few minutes. Acquisition of signal, Bermuda. Land landings have a number of advantages over water landings. First, they are not subject to ocean storms that might affect the drone ship. Secondly, landing on land significantly streamlines post-launch processing of the recovered first stage. We'll be able to refurbish boosters right here at our facilities at the Cape, rather than waiting for the drone ships to return to port. And these types of efforts support our future goal of a 24-hour turnaround from landing to reflight. So on screen, both of those views of, are of the first stage. The left-hand side is a view from the top of our first stage uh, looking downward. And the right-hand side is a tracking shot from the ground as our first stage makes its descent back towards Earth. Acquisition of signal to Hampshire. Those periodic plumes of gas that you're seeing, that's nitrogen gas from our attitude control systems. Those help to orient the Falcon 9 first stage as it returns back to Earth. Uh, in order to land, the first stage has two more burns left. Uh, next up is the entry burn, where three of the Merlin engines will reignite. This helps to slow the stage down as it re-enters the upper parts of the Earth's atmosphere. Uh, we're about 90 seconds away from that second burn.
Second stage following a nominal trajectory. Second stage seems to be doing great. Uh, if you've been watching our previous webcasts, usually at this point we have a view of our first and second stages. Again, as a reminder, uh, per our customer's request, we will not be showing any views of the second stage. So for now, we'll be watching the first stage make its returned and eventual landing attempt uh, at landing zone one in Florida. Just under a minute away from the second of three burns. Uh, those, you can see that our hypersonic grid fins have also deployed. Those are the honeycomb-like structures that you see on screen right now. Those help to guide the rocket back during its descent as well. Just a few seconds away from the entry burn beginning. Stage one entry burn startup. And you can see on screen three Merlin engines have relit and are currently slowing the stage down. This burn lasts for a total of 26 seconds. Stage one entry burn shut down. And the second, second burn for the first stage is done. Trajectory. Next up is the landing burn, about 40 seconds away. During the first stage landing burn, a single Merlin stage engine will relight and slow the vehicle down for its fifth landing attempt at landing zone one in Florida, about 25 seconds later. You can see that uh, we can start to see the Earth approaching as the first stage continues to make its descent. As a reminder, we are ending the webcast after Falcon 9 lands, and we won't be sharing any views of our, of our second stage at the request of our customer. Stage one landing burn startup. There's that single engine relight. Here comes Falcon 9 for its fifth landing attempt stage two at landing FTS zone one. Stage one landing like deploy. Stage two start of terminal guidance. And Falcon 9 does it again. That's five times for this booster and the 70th successful recovery of a Falcon 9 to date. Uh, congratulations to uh, all those that have been working on uh, today's mission. Uh, as we mentioned earlier, at the request of our customer, the National Reconnaissance Office, we up. are concluding our webcast coverage early today. We want to thank the NRO for entrusting us with today's launch. A special thanks to the 45th Space Wing for range, for range support and to the Federal Aviation Administration for licensing support. Orbit insertion. Today's mission marks the 26th and final launch of 2020. For all of those tuning in, have a happy and healthy new year. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all in 2021.